down here. I'm trying to go for a shot here. Uh, coming at you with my get deck profile. Um, I've been mentioning it that it will be online in a couple of days. And here it is. Uh, it's finally complete. Got an extra deck finished. Got main deck finished. Um, yeah, this deck is most likely going to be hit on the ban list in July. Um, but yeah, this new deck for me. Um, still don't know what I'm doing when I'm uh, playing this deck. Uh, it also is maybe it's <coughs> just like any other deck profile, but I think there are actually a few, few things that are different than other good, good decks. At least I'm hoping it. So let's go! First, you guys triple armor. Which may surge off your deck. Uh, you can every turn you can flip the face down and flip face up. And when you flip face up, you can surge a Gear Gear Monster except for himself. And then triple arsenal. I've seen people running too. But uh, I think how it's better at free because you can get faster to your armor. Uh, what it does is you can tribute this card and a special main gear gear from your deck in defense mode. And he gets a 2 round attack for each phase of gear gear on the field. And to round level 4 is up, around the Fripper Accelerator, it's like a wind up shark but I'm better. You can special win this card when you control phase of gear gear monster. So uh, you can control this one, you get a special this card from your hand. And when this card. Um, you send from the field to the graveyard, you can target the Gear Monster in your graveyard, except for him, and put it back to your hand. Now, for your standard level 3 monsters, the Triple MK2, uh, he's needed for the Gear Gear Gears. And when he gets normal or flip summoned, you can special on the Gear Gear from your grave, uh, hand or deck. Uh, hand or graveyard in the defense. And then you want Gargano because you need to run it. And it's actually not that bad of a card. You can tribute this card by showing the machine from your graveyard. And then his effects are negated. So these are uh, 13 monsters. I think that's uh, normal. Now for your spells. Uh, triple start. Uh, two MST. Uh, just one soul charge because soul charge is good in the deck, but I um, it's indeed it. It's good, but y you have to win. If you d if you haven't win and you draw this card, then you win. If I've said that correctly, yeah. Uh, you want mind control, uh, one dark hole, and one book to round off for your spells. I think these are nine. Yes. Fine. Then for your traps, there are a lot of traps in this deck. I think that's also normal. So here are the three gear gear gear. Um, what I do with gear 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 is... Um, hang on. Try to find the music so YouTube won't sue me from... I think this will do it. Uh, the free gear gear gears are uh, the best card, in my opinion. You flip it, you get two gear gearanos from your deck, and the level are increased by one. Uh, the problem is, I think this will get hit by the next ban list, maybe at two, or maybe like this. But I think this one was more appropriate. Uh, done. To finish chain, I uh, would run three if I had the third one, but I uh, play the one breaker skill as a third, and break skill is also good. Then two dimensional prison because hands are a thing. I play two needle ceiling. Uh, I think most Giga decks are siding these, but I think a torrential. That can go really well with the gear gear armor. Is actually really needed in the main deck. It's so good. Then, no, 
one torrential, one bottomless, one compulsory, uh, one warning. I do run a compulsory right now again because of the high popularity of Exesis, and that's why actually. Uh, then two black horns because they are strong against Exesis, and two wire taps. I hadn't these like a week ago, so that's why I'm profiling it right now. So, this was the main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, I have one Zay mains, because Zay mains is good. One Alucard, didn't have this one as well. And uh, one Giga Brilliant. Those are the only rank 3s I play. I would have run uh, what's it called? Silo Silver Mountain, I think, but I think this one is a bit better. Because when you swarm your field with all of level 4s and then make this one next to it, and they get all additional 300 attack boost. This game. Then for your 4s, I run one Rhapsody in Berserk um, for two reasons. One, it's a DD Crow on wheels, or actually legs. So you make it DD Crow twice. And for a second, it's the only card in my whole deck uh, that can get over Leo at level 10, uh, level 10 Synchro. Now that and Warning and um, Finish Chain and May Phase 2. There aren't a lot of cards, but this one is the, the most consistent one. Then you get your one cowboy, uh, one that goes to emerald. This one is also new; uh, didn't have him before. So, and in all my play, in all my decks I have played, I never needed actually the deck goes to emerald. So I needed to get it, so I can actually make a really good use of this deck. You go through, through your deck really fast because you can search every turn with that armor. Well, then you want my stroke. Uh, one diamond dire wolf, one horn arc, one black ship. And don't have that extra knight because I still think it's way too much for a card. Unless I pull it or get it for real cheap, but then again, I don't need it. Actually, I did need it yesterday, but um, triple K Gigant X. Um, it's the best card. It's an you can yeah with what you can yeah it's just good. It's just, you can catch your materials. This the ex ex Z of this card. You can get it in immediately back to your hands. For example, like that accelerator. You test the accelerator, get it to your hands, and do some crazy shit. And then your strongest attacker as exceeds the Rock Zero. Um, because it's still a good card. Then, uh, most of the time I don't have a side deck, but for this deck I have it because I went to uh, Euros last weekend. So, uh, two DD Crow, mainly against yeah, Mermel, Light Swarms, everything. This one is mere counter side deck against. Uh, no middle of cross out because you activate this one as chain in a dark hole and no matter cross out and torrential your monsters will be li alive and they have to use the card dead <laughs> excuse me <coughs> two no matter cross outs uh, for in the middle match um, the third MST and one damage of Fisher against Lightsworn, Mermail, I think Hat. I haven't played against Hat. Then, two limbs, Rubusian, um, Lightsworn again. Lightsworn are really popular right now, actually. I have a deck profile coming up uh, of, of them myself. To the bunk, Cosmos, Soul Drain, and uh, Trapstone. Oh, sorry, the camera fell off. 
Guys, this was my gear get deck profile. Um, rate, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Like it. And stay tuned for what's it called? An updated version of my Mermel deck. Updated version of my Lightstorm deck. And maybe spellbooks in the future. So guys, share them.